Welcome to Gow Trapple. Nick Bismuth is my name. I've stayed here in Stanhope Place for 21 years. Um, there used to be about 200 families stayed in this street. Now I'm the last one. It's certainly a ghost town. I had a newsletter through the door a few weeks ago about out here and it basically said that um, in July they would be doing the roads. In August you would see foundations being started and actually in September you'll see houses starting to be built. Whether um, the council is going to offer me one of them, I don't know. But uh, that is how it's going at the moment. When I, when I moved in here um, 21 years ago, this place was a nightmare. It was all horrible purple painted and horrible. Um, the place wasn't full at that time. It was basically druggies and junkies that stayed here. Um, there was just a few in the block. And um, when the right to buy was due to complete a few years ago, I decided rather than pay rent, it would be beneficial for me to um, to buy the flat. You know, once once uh, the few uh, druggies and junkies moved out years ago, the block was filled up, everywhere was filled up with Polish people, and uh, it was fine, everybody spoke to you. The council have been, I said that guy phoned me a year past November, it all started for them. They keep emailing me, telling me, um, you're going to need to move out, we're going to start demolishing in April. April last year, going to start demolishing, which would total lies. Um, you're going to be the only person left there. And, uh, you know, I, I would speak to other people in the block and I'd say, have you, you been told you have to get out? And they'd say, no, nobody said anything to us, but they had said it to me. And that went on for months and months. And gradually, eventually, you've you seen an odd person moving out, only an odd person. Um, it took a long time for them to gradually get one by one, get people out of the different blocks. But uh, as I say, I think we a lot of them, I don't mean this badly, but ones that didn't work, the incentive there giving them up to two and a half thousand to move out, great, you know, getting a lot of money to them. Um, and slowly and gradually they all started to move out. It's hard to think but that actually, you were struggling to get a car parked out there. That's how busy it was, how full it was with all the, all the Polish people. Everybody, some of them had two cars. Um, and look at it now. It it's a shame in a sense, quite honestly. They say it's progress. I don't know that it is.